listen, my child, to this story of dreams and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses... Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Welcome to my latest cyber mystery, Message in a Haunted Mansion. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click on the tutorial button to learn how to play the game. In this game, you get to fill my shoes and try to solve the mystery. You'll see the world through my eyes and choose what I do. And I can do many things. I always carry my magnifying glass around to search for clues. When it turns red, click your mouse button to see what I have found. Try it out. Move your mouse around and find an area where the magnifying glass turns red, and then click on it. Very good. You can use the red magnifying glass to open and close things, pick up objects, move things, and get around the different places you'll visit. When you want to go back to where you came from or turn around, find where your cursor turns into a U-turn at the bottom of the screen and click your mouse button. Try it now. Good job! When you're in the center of a room, you can turn around in a circle to see the whole room. Move your cursor to the edge of the screen and click your mouse button. Now turn around and click on my suitcases. All right. When you find something useful in the game, you can pick it up and carry it around with you. I'll give you a key to my suitcase to show you what these objects look like. Pretty neat, huh? To use these objects, just move your mouse over them in your toolbox to the right and click on them. Notice your cursor will turn into that item. Just click on the area where you want to use it. Très bien, as they say in France. One more lesson and you'll have all of my moves down. In the game, you can talk to people by choosing a reply in the text box next to the toolbox. The person you're talking to will appear in blue and my replies will be in white. Just click one of my responses to see what they'll say. Hello there. How are you today? I'm not doing so hot. Well, as long as it's not catching, it's fine by me. If there's a lot of words in the text box, those bars to the right move up and down. Sometimes people have too much to say. Okay, we're almost done. At the bottom left is a little pocket watch where you can check the time in the game. If you make a major mistake, like blow up something or get hurt, you can always select second chance from the main menu to start where you left off. And if you get stuck, try calling Bess or George. So that's it. I'll return you to the player challenge screen where you can start the game. Junior Detective is a little easier so you might want to start there. Good luck! Dear Bess, hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room I'm in. It's full of old Chinese furnishings and some interesting knickknacks. The owner of the house, Rose Green, is a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at work? <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out. Love, Nancy. It's locked.
Listen, my child, to this story of dreams and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border, when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine his ray, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden wonders. It's stuck. It's stuck. Nancy, I see you've arrived safely from your long journey, but I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. How do you know I don't believe in ghosts? <laughs> I know many things. I know how to communicate with the spirits, and I know things about people that they don't tell me. Call it intuition or ESP. The spirits in this house are interested in you, especially since you don't believe in them. Watch out, they may give you a rough time just to get your attention. Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Well, you'll be the first to know if I find a ghost floating over my bed. Do you dare mock the supernatural? Just bear in mind what I've told you about this place. Spirits of the deceased can do unimaginable harm, especially to those who don't believe. Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Um.
The rope is cut. Nancy, I'm very glad you could come out here. We can really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? I can't wait. Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly happened? I don't know where to begin. It started out with some small but irritating things. But then the scaffolding collapsed, and just last week we had a gas leak. I really don't know whether I can stand much more of this. I would love to have a week without any accidents. That's too bad. And you've done such a terrific job with the renovation. Do you know much about the original owner? Almost all the records on these old houses were destroyed in the great earthquake. So we don't know much about the origins of the place. Abby thinks all our accidents were caused by some restless spirit or a curse. I'm not one to believe in bad luck, but it's been one thing after another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, but his rates are so affordable. I sometimes wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. Enough chit-chat. Hannah tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. Take a look in the corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm sorry for not introducing you around, but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy. I did it! How's that 
inlay puzzle coming along. I finished it! Wonderful! But now I've got something else for you. I set up a ladder upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling. You'll need to look around for a chisel or paint scraper for the job. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. How did you meet Abby? She was the drama coach back in River Heights, and we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. What is Abby planning for tonight? She's putting on some kind of seance tonight to contact these ghosts or whatever she thinks is causing all of these accidents. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for your help. Hi, you must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. Nice to meet you. Rose and Abby really have their hands full with this house. Yeah, most of these Victorian mansions need a lot of work, but I don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know? This place will look great once it's finished. Do you think you'll be open in time with all of these accidents and delays? Um, yeah. Well, now that you're here, sure. <laughs> you don't sound convinced. No, I am. I, I mean, I, I know Rose is all concerned, but... You've got to expect a few things to get out of control with these big projects. Accidents happen, you know? I guess. I take it you have a lot of experience with historical renovations. Uh, no, but I learned quickly. Even Lewis said so. Have you met him yet? He's helping Rose with the house. Yeah, he showed me how to do some of the remodeling work. No, I haven't met him yet. Does he work for Rose? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. Do you have any idea why there's been so many accidents on this project? I have no idea. People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. Listen, Nancy, I really need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose is looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. See ya! hidden beneath a river of colors. It's stuck. I should wait until he leaves.
It's missing an eye. Took the chandelier and it crashed to the floor. I can't believe it. No wonder Rose asked you to leave. I don't know what got into me. Sounds like you really goofed up. Just don't vandalize the next house you stay in, okay? Especially if it's ours.